And <coughs> you, you, you brothers and sisters heard the, uh, the answer. If a person does not pray but the mandatory prayers, that is perfectly valid. And he's not committing a sin, but he's missing a huge reward. Especially when you know that our prayer is full of uh, drawbacks and shortcomings, insufficiencies. So there comes the sunnah to complement any drawback that happened in the fard. And there is a hadith in this respect. The Prophet ﷺ says the first question on the day of judgment to the believers will be concerning the prayer. So if it was done properly, then the person will be saved. Otherwise, Allah will ask the angels to check out the record of his servant. He may have some nawafil, the sunnah. If yes, then from the nawafil, the reward will complete and complement the drawbacks, the uh, insufficiency in the further prayer, and then he will be saved. So this is, uh, you know, one of the greatest benefits of praying sunnah. Also, the Almighty Allah says that nothing my servant can do to come close to me better than fulfilling what I ordained upon him, the faridah. And then he said, my servant will continue to draw closer and closer towards me through offering the nawafil, the sunan. Like the sunnah before dhuhr, after dhuhr, after maghrib, after isha, the witr, night prayer. Until I love him, then when Allah loves one of his servants, he's saved. He becomes completely covered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, uh, but if a person doesn't pray the sunnah, it's valid. Okay.